Hello lovelies! This is Elisa. Welcome to Elisa's Creations. Today I have a project share for you. I have made an envelope planner, actually two as you can see. So I came up with this project using the lovely, lovely papers from Shabby Art Boutique. Korean English is an amazing designer, an amazing artist. She's got lots of digital shabby chic kits. And uh, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. She's, she sells on Etsy. So if you'd like to see her creation, I'm going to leave her details in the description box below. And she also has... Uh, a group called the craft room where you can subscribe for nine dollars a month and you get a subscription and you get loads like she she puts digital kits extra buttons she also does tutorials and amazing she has lots of knowledge lots to share so if you are interested in that i can Put the link down below she also has a newsletter if you subscribe to that there's lots of freebies so if you subscribe to her newsletter she's gonna send you a password that you can use on her blog and she's got lots and lots of freebie she's super generous she always put these lovely uh, mini kits monthly and she puts lots of other stuff so if you are interested i'm going to leave the link below you can have a look at that so I've made two envelope planners. I'm gonna actually show you the first one. So what I did, I took um, a window envelope and I altered it with this lovely paper to turn into something shabby. The idea behind this was to have a planner to put in my handbag and have it on me. Um, every day so I could do some uh, uh, planning for the day and uh, bring it with me because I have other planners that are much bigger one and they don't actually fit on my bag or when I go to work they're kind of heavy I've got other stuff in my bag so I can carry it so it was like let's try to do something else and uh, I came up with this idea this is obviously flexible, can be used as a floating envelope in your junk journal and you can actually uh, use it for journaling and for whichever you would like to use. Let's dig in. So I've altered with this lovely paper. I've done in this one, I've done a collage. I've done a collage. I used some scraps from different paper. I've put these lovely uh, roses from the kit. I've done a, a pearl corner, I've pearled it. I know pearl is not probably even a, a verb, but I've came up with this new verb for me is pearl, I've pearled it. Pearl all around, obviously I put pearls all around. I love pearls. So here, uh, this is actually a pocket. Uh, I, I had placed something here, I lost it. <laughs> okay, good. So this is actually a pocket where this one should have been placed but i forgot it <laughs> amazing so here we go the button uh i love this button uh this is a cartoon button you can obviously write something at the back i've backed it with some paper from the kit and this looks like two happy eyes isn't it cute i love it um yeah that's what it is a pocket i've done some collage with this lovely bunny i put a bow and I've done some layering with the rose. And look at this. So this actually opens up. The, the lace is actually glued down to the page. And on top of that, I glued down this concept key. And look, it goes down. Hey, here we go. And up. So there's seven spaces where you can plan for each day of the week. And... At the back, you can do the same. So you can in total plan for two weeks. Obviously, in this space, I've actually designed for planning can also be used for journaling. So it's really flexible. At the top, we have a journaling card that came with a kit. I put this lovely button as a tab. I put loads and loads of stickers all around it. 
and I've backed it with some paper and here I'm gonna use it as my to-do list. Yay! Here we go, da -da, more pearls. I created a pocket with another paper from the kit. This is a pocket as well. At the moment, I didn't put anything because I want to show you the penny. There's another journaling card. This I'm gonna use it as a notes page. This is the first one I've made. The other, I've made actually two similar ones and uh, I'm gonna show them to you. So I've got this one and this one that are pretty much the same. I'm gonna do a swap with a lady from India. So I'm actually gonna send her the one that I showed you before. This one is gonna go to another lady and this one is actually for me. So I'm gonna show you one of these because they are pretty much the same thing. The only difference to the other one this one didn't have the altered paper clip that I've got in here, but I put some decorative pearls instead. But here I've actually put this lovely banner paper clip, which I created with some scraps. I put a little bunny, and obviously there's a pink paper clip. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I actually love it. So this is the journaling card with the rose and the bunny. This is the button for decoration like the one before. And this one is the same as in the other one because down is like a boomerang for Instagram. <laughs> if you turn it, you have a pocket with another journaling card that I'm gonna use as a notes page. Uh, this actually is not for me, it's actually from, from my swap from a lady that I'm gonna send it to, but in mine, I'm gonna use it as a notes page and here there's a pocket like in the other one i didn't put anything for now so this is the projects i wanted to share with you please let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a tutorial for that and uh, let me know what you think if you'd like to, to plan using something like this or if you would like to use it more for journal i would like to see what you think about that I will see you soon. Thank you so much for joining me today. And please consider subscribing to my channel if you'd like to see more content about paper crafting, planning, journaling, and DIY. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.